Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. It was just recently that there was serious chaos in the palace and three queens of Alafion Voyo, as it was reported in the news, ran away from the palace. And also one of those queens came on social media platform to ask everyone to pray for her after she revealed that not all that glitters is gold. When the news broke out via a popular blog on Instagram, that Queen Anoluakpo, which was among the three queens, left the ancient Oyo Palace. Many people were skeptical, especially after she had granted an interview to BBC Africa and spoke highly of the 82-year-old monarch as a great husband, a teacher and a generous spouse, who has made her a fulfilled woman, despite the fact that she's in her 20s. While well, she was alleged to have left the palace after this, when one of the young queens, Dami Lola, whom the Alaf of Oyo married this year, and is now the current youngest wife of Alafi Oboyo. And it was reported that Damlela was allegedly ill treated by the palace authorities. However, what is now shocking to so many people is that this queen Damlela has now found her way back to the palace and has started posting photos of KBAC with the usual eulogies accompanying such posts. Contrary to this, Queen Anu is now based in Lagos State, has stopped dressing like a queen, she now wears hot pants and feature tops and other sexy dresses. And she also wrote in one of her posts that you have to fight through some bad days to end the best days of your life. With many people paying compliments on her recent post, Queen Anu also wrote again that I don't have everything figured out, but at least I have a plan. I'm not where I want to be, but at least I'm not where I used to be. There's been a lot of tweaks and bumps along the way, but the end goal has remained the same. One thing I know is that I love this version of myself and I'm proud of the woman I'm becoming. There is no handbook as to how things should go in life. Just do what works for you and leave the rest to God. And according to a popular blog, Kemi Filani, she is taken after Queen Ajoke as a source told Kemi Ashefo. So why did the three queens flee the palace? This was how it was reported. Unrest in the palace. Oyo Kingdom just lost two queens to the streets of Lagos State. These two queens left Oyo and got to Lagos around 2 a.m. midnight. According to them, they are tired of the palace and how the king is treating them. They want to follow Queen Ola's footsteps, seeing that she's cashing out in Lagos. And according to our sources, Queen Dami was locked up in the palace prison for like a week as she was said to have gone against one of the palace rules. All her belongings were seized from her. After she was released, she took few of her clothes and fiam to Lagos together with another queen, Queen Anu. If all the queens they could run come out for palace, who go come remain? Make all these queens stay in one place so I come in peace. This was how it was reported by Gist Lover Blog. However, this same queen Dami who absconded from the palace after she was locked up in palace prison for like one week has gone back to the palace. And this has indeed shocked many people. On a recent post on our social media platform, Queen Dami shared a lovely photo of herself and wrote, never sacrifice three things, family, love, and yourself. And she also posted another photo where she tagged it, Olori, with crowns in between. All the controversies surrounding the palace started months ago. A rumor of an alleged affair between Kam One and a laughing for your wife started circulating on social media platforms. Kwamwa was romantically linked to Olori Ajoke. However, both Olori Ajoke and the Fuji musician debunked this rumor. And the Fuji musician, in a statement released by his media advisor, Kuli Rashid, denied the allegations and said that, Let me categorically state that the allegation is false, concocted from the pit of hell by those who aim is to drag to the mud the name of K1 the Ultimate and ultimately that of the most revered kingdom in Yoruba land. These agents of Lucifer have continued in their warped delusions to see K1 go to the ground just for being conferred with the title of Mayugo of Yoruba land. Let's remind the rumor mongers that Nigeria has adequate laws to bring anyone who has embarked on character assassination of the innocent book. The fact that the general public should be rest assured that we will legally seek redress for these allegations. Alafi of Oyo had recently installed Wasu and Yide Kwamwon as the Mayego of Yoruba land some months ago in Oyo state. Meanwhile, in a previous interview, the Alafi of Oyo had opened up and talked about how he did not propose to any of his wives. In his words, I did not propose to any of my wives. They desire to be with me because I sent them to school. After their university education, I told them to leave, but they refused and insisted on staying with me here in the palace as my wives. 
The least educated of them has a higher national diploma and is now in the university. I don't begrudge or offend women. Marriage is an institution that must be defended. Each partner has their role to play in the marriage. My wives have their individual quarters. God has given me some type of ability and grace to keep a woman, especially beautiful women. I don't disclose my conversations or activities with one wife to another. I maintain a strict code of confidentiality. I've learned that I must positively make an impact on people and make a great first impression. Of course, they my wife sometimes have disagreements and conflicts of opinion, but I have been graced by God to know how to ensure that these conflicts don't escalate. This was what we revealed in an interview with Punch two years ago. Alain Fenvoyeur is one of the most revered Yoruba monarch and is also known to be a lover of women. He is married to several women. He first had two wives before he ascended the throne. His reign began on the 18th of November in 1970. So he has been the Alain Fenvoyeur since 1970 to date. And he was also coronated that same day on 18th of November in 1970. He was however born on October 15 in 1938, so he's currently 82 years old. And yes, he already has two wives who are now in their 80s before he became the Alafi of Oyo. Alafi of Oyo's wives include Ayabaramat Adidayo Adiyemi, Ayabamujidat Adiyemi, Ayabarukayas Adiyemi, Ayabafolashade Adiyemi, Ayababadirat Adjoke Adiyemi, Ayabamimunat Omomomi Adiyemi, Ayabamwabalale Adiyemi, Ayabamuji Adiyemi, Ayaba Nuluakpo Adiyemi and Ayaba Damilola Adiyemi among others. So among the three women, the three queens of Alafin for you who flee the palace, one of them has returned. Who is the woman illegally made his wife this year? Queen Damilola, who is said to be 23 years old. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and let one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.